Boy, the national media is just desperate for an atheist to massacre some religious people, aren't they? Yeah, you know, I, I guess the 80% of their American audience that's religious would love to hear some stories about how, no, it's not just religious zealots that do that shit. It, it would reinforce their desperate narrative that religion doesn't factor into mass killings at all. I mean, that's clearly the story they want to tell. Because no matter how clear the motive is, when it's a religious person, they're going to point to a number of covariances and say, sure, the people doing X killings share a religion, but they also share these other factors, so it, it must be those other factors. And yes, they say that they're motivated by their religion, but what are you going to do? You're going to trust a mass murderer? I mean, come on. So whether it's a Christian murdering an abortion doctor, or a Muslim murdering a teacher, or a Buddhist murdering a Muslim, you can always say, well, the root of the problem is some other factor, like class, or racism, or just general hatred, but the religion gets out of jail free. But of course, nothing would counter the accusation that religion actually does play a role in this more than a person driven to murder by their atheism, right? I mean, if a mass murderer went out and killed a bunch of Christians in the name of atheism, you know, and, and claimed that atheism offered them a justification for it, that they felt that it was their obligation as an atheist to kill these religious people, well, all of a sudden, my position becomes damn near untenable, right? And the American media, of course, is primarily catering to people who disagree with that position. So they want that story. They want that balance. And based on what we've seen out of Oregon, they want it so bad they're willing to manufacture it. So consider this. Christian nut goes crazy and murders a Jewish family. What's the standard of evidence before the media would report this as a Christian targeting Jews? You know, what would the standard of evidence have to be before the media would say, yes, this Christian person was out to kill Jews and these are the ones he found? I mean, sure, if he walks into a mosque or a Sikh temple or something, it's pretty clear that he was targeting a religion. But if he just happened to kill somebody of a certain religion, how much clear evidence that it was a religiously motivated thing would the media demand before they would start making that claim? Or let, let's say a Muslim killed a bunch of Christians. Sure, the majority of the people in this country would probably assume terrorism right away, but what would the media say? How much evidence would they have to have before they'd come out and say, yeah, looks like this Muslim dude was targeting Christians? You know, I mean, obviously they don't want to stoke an already simmering undercurrent of bigotry by misidentifying a person's motivations based on assumptions and with good reason. So if anything, the mainstream media is a little overcautious about labeling a mass killing by a Muslim as being religiously motivated. But apparently, when it comes to atheists, it's perfectly okay to just assume that they're killing because they were atheists and their victims were religious, even though that's basically never happened. It's, it's perfectly acceptable to report that, yes, the atheist was targeting religious people, and you don't need any evidence at all. In fact, you can even report that if the evidence is overwhelmingly against you. And of course, I'm talking about the semi-current narrative coming out of Oregon. Sure, some media outlets are starting to back away from it now that there are mountains of evidence piling up against it. But even now, plenty of major media outlets, both left and right, are perpetuating the myth that the Oregon shooter was an atheist that was targeting anyone religious. In fact, I've heard those exact words used on CNN after the sheriff investigating the crime came out publicly and said that they do not believe that that's what happened. So just in case you haven't been following the story and all you've seen is the Christian paranoia and a few headlines, let me assure you that no, the Oregon shooter was not an atheist that was targeting Christians or religious people in general. Let, let, let's start with the shooter here. I'm not going to mention his name, but I, I will say that the reports that he was an atheist are pretty fucking dubious. From what I've seen, they're based on an online dating profile where he described himself as spiritual but not religious. Now, keep in mind that there are a number of boxes that he could have checked on this particular thing, including atheist and agnostic, and he did not check those boxes. So say what you will about the technical definition of the word atheist, but from what we can tell, he definitely didn't identify himself as one, which means the media probably shouldn't take the liberty themselves. And, of course, we can also look at the victims. The, the media narrative I've heard over and over again is that he was targeting anyone religious. But if you look at what's known about the victims, again, as near as I can tell right now, we have two Christians, a pagan, an agnostic, a secular Jew, and four people of unknown faith. Now, this doesn't disprove the narrative that he was targeting people of any religion, but it certainly doesn't support it. We know the religion of five of his victims, and almost half of them are non-religious. Now, for those of you who haven't dug into the case at all and only saw the headlines, you're probably wondering how the fuck this narrative developed at all. Well, for that, we have to look at the crime itself, because the one thing that seems to be verified is that before the shooter killed somebody, he asked them if they were religious. 
Now, some secondhand accounts have come out and said that he would only shoot the people who were religious, but that's directly contradicted by firsthand accounts, the known religion of multiple victims, and the person in charge of the investigation. Yeah, an alternative explanation that's been offered as to why he was asking about religion is that it helped him to pull the trigger if he knew that person thought they were going to heaven. I mean, I guess that's possible, but who the fuck knows? All I know is that I don't know enough to assign a motive to what he did, so apparently I know more than CNN. And I think it's worth noting that even the media outlets that are making a serious effort now to correct those debunked reports are still culpable. Again, if this was any theistic demographic, there is no fucking way they would have reported this on such flimsy, contradictory evidence. Everyone who reported that this was an atheist targeting religious people needs to confront the bigotry that led them to this careless and dangerous fabrication and then fix it like they didn't do after the same shit happened in Chapel Hill. And every atheist that thinks that we're not really discriminated against needs to consider what the backlash would have been if the media had erroneously reported that a Muslim was targeting Christians in a mass shooting. And then ask yourself why we don't deserve the same respect.